like and subscribe if you had off of school because of the coronavirus. Hey guys, what's up? And today we're going to be talking about this little, as you can call it, hack that actually really improves your fingerboard. And yeah, that's what we'll be talking about today. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy the video and you find it helpful. And yeah, into the intro, which I still need to make. So like I said, we're going to be talking about the bushings on a tech deck or a fingerboard. Usually with a real fingerboard, it comes with good bushings. So this is for if, if you're if a real fingerboard, if, no, wait. If a person with a real fingerboard is watching this, you should use this hack only if your bushings wear out. So, if you have a tech deck, and it's the thinner one, not like the fat ones. I don't know where my fat one went. But, if you have the thinner one with the plastic bushings, then this hack is like perfect for you. <laughs> so, like I said... This is the thinner tech deck. I dropped it. This is the thinner tech deck, and with the one, the one with the plastic bushings. But the, the as, I'm not playing any tricks here. I didn't switch out any of the. I sw I didn't switch out any of the what's it called the trucks, and they're turnable, and the trucks won't crack or not the truck. The, bu the bushings won't crack because they're not plastic. So, here's the hack that I'm talking about. So, here's an example of a plastic bushing. Let me get that up close. Ah, uh, no. Where'd it go? These things are super tiny. Hold up. Okay, there's a plastic bushing. If you can see that there. Focus. I'm gonna try and focus it. There, that's a plastic bushing. It's not the best image but that's a plastic bushing and these things are crap so what you want to do is find an old pen that doesn't really work anymore or uh, yeah they just doesn't work anymore and ow I just trying to get up I'm not kind of in. <sighs> all right I just got scissors so what you want to do is take an old pen I already cut this one up so it's super small but you want to take a pen and scissors and make sure it's not like humongous because this is deceptive right here this is re it's really small or it looks small but it's really big because on the other side it's like giant if you can see that there i'm gonna try and focus it towards the middle yeah but it's like giant here oh no it fell but yeah make sure if you're cutting it like this, you want it to be like super tiny, almost like right here. So make it like that big. You see that little bump? You want to make it that big so that in reality, it's going to turn out that big. If you can see that there. Yep. That's how big it's going to be. So yeah, you just want to cut that off. You want to cut two, so you have it uh, evened out for uh, like one, two. Because it's not... It, here, I'm going to unscrew this real quick, and I'm going to show you where my tool go. There it is. So, you're going to unscrew that. And once you unscrew it, if I can unscrew it, uh, you, you'll see that the um, bushings are separate, and you're gonna need two. So there's my nut and bolt. So there, there we go. Um, the bushings. So you want this the bushing to be super tiny, like this thing. See that? And. There's a line between the bushings and where it would be. In this circle, you will attach it to the base plate. Ow! It hurts. I'm laying down right now. 
so when you're assembling it or you're deassembling it, disassembling it, uh, you're going you're gonna put this in. Man, my sister's watching Frozen 2. It's super loud. Sorry if you hear that in the background. But you're gonna want to put the bushing in here, and it's gonna like whoop. Make sure it fits, and if it doesn't, then too bad. Not my fault. I'm <clears throat> just kidding. If it doesn't fit, then you have to redo it again. But, yeah, you're going to take that bushing, put the actual trucks on, slip it on like that. Where's my other bushing? Take the other bushing. That's how. That's why I said I take two bushings. And then you're, you, this is another hack. You can use this part of the tool to, like, push it down. There, to push it down and make sure it's nice and securely on. And take your nut. Come on, nut. Stay on. Thank you. And just twist it on like a usual tech deck. And yeah. That's how you... That's the hack that I was going to show you right now. Or today. For today. Whatever. But, yeah. This is the nice little thing that you can do to your tech deck. But if it's a fingerboard, remember, if you have a fingerboard and you're watching this, make sure that your bushings are wore, uh, wore out first. Because I don't want you wasting like five bucks on bushings and then blaming it on me and be like, Hey, you told me to do this and it just wasted my money on this crap and blah, blah, blah. I don't give a damn. All right. Anyway, thanks for watching. And yeah, see, now they're turnable. And if they don't turn, you can force them as much as you want. They will not wear out, unlike the plastic ones. The plastic ones crack. And Frozen 2 downstairs is really loud, I'm sorry. But if they don't turn, you can force them as hard as you want. You could take, like, scissors and just press against, like, e, and make the wheel touch. And yeah, the bushings, let's see if I can zoom in. Alright. Trying to zoom in all the way, whatever. But, yeah, it's turnable. See? Turnable. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um, leave a like and subscribe if you found this helpful. And yeah. Bye.